Today we are going to be looking at a map of California and sharing this map all together, plotting some of the key places that you have been learning about, um, kind of seeing where they are, and then sharing some, doing a little bit of research to find out a little more about them, and then sharing that information with everybody in the class. All right, so I'm going to start by pulling up the my map here. It's called Our California, and this will be shared with you in your drive. And you are going to see here that what comes up as a map of the United States, um, I'm just going to pull it and drag it over here so we can take a look at California. Now, if you scroll with your fingers, you can, oh, that's pulling out, but you can also zoom in on it here. I'm using two fingers to do that. If I click and drag, then that actually moves the map. I'm now too close. I can't see everything in California, so I'm going to pull out a little bit figure out which way that goes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's a pretty good view. I can uh, look and see the top of the state there and kind of drag it around and, and see some of the different spots. Um, what we're going to do is map some of the key features in each of the regions. So you will see in your lab list that your lab lessons that uh, I have assigned you and a partner something to research in one of the four regions. There are some links here that give you some places where you can look. I really like the interactive map because when you pull this up, let's just look at it for a sec since we're here. This is a great example of something that we are doing on a, sort of a smaller scale here. They don't have things located by or labeled by region, um, but you can see here that they have different um, features here uh, of California that are highlighted, and then when you click on them, you can get a picture and then some facts, and that's kind of what we're going to be doing here too. So you can use this as a place for your facts. What I say in the lab lessons is that I'm looking for um, two to three pictures of your um, feature, California feature, California place, and two to three facts. Now, the one that we were just looking at, is it this one? Yeah, here you can see they have paragraphs. I'm just looking for a couple of bullet points. I would like them in your own words, however, so don't just um, take a paragraph here and just copy and paste it over. Read through it. Find a couple things that are interesting to you and then you'll be able to use that information on our map. Okay, let me show you quickly how to plot a spot on the map. So um, you can see this blue bar here. This says that right now I'm in the mountain region. I thought I would work on Pleasanton because um, that's a place I didn't assign to any of you, and hey, it would be something good that you would like to know a little about, people should know about. So Pleasanton, I would say it's in the coastal region, kind of right over the hills, kind of between the coast and the valley, huh? Anyway, I'm going to put in the coastal region. So I click here on coastal region, and now I'm working with that layer of the map. Um, and you do want to have yours placed in the proper proper region. So first make sure that you are working in the right spot. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go up to your search bar and I'm going to type in, well looky there, Pleasanton, California. As you start typing in, um, it will pop up. And let's see, once we get an icon there, I'm going to hit add to map. Let's just go ahead and close this up so you can see. Now, sometimes when you, let's actually zoom in and see where it's at. Well, that is, that is really right on. Drag this over so you can see, because guess what? That's right on Main Street. That's really the heart of Pleasanton. So this time it did a really good job. Sometimes it'll put the marker somewhere else. Like for example, uh, it might mark a store that had Pleasanton in the name. In which case, if you click and drag the marker, you can reposition it. I know with Mount uh, Shasta, it put it in the town of Mount Shasta instead of exactly on the mountain. So you might have to click and drag the marker a little bit to get it in the right spot. But okay, there we go. Now we're in Pleasanton. And if I click on this here, you can see here it's saying, oh, okay, here's Pleasanton. And we have some options to add some things here. 
So if we click here and we hit camera, then you're going to be able to um, go for a picture. Um, let's see what we search. Google image search. So I could look here for Pleasanton, California. Just see what comes up. Probably our sign, yeah, there for sure. I was gonna say, probably our Main Street sign is gonna come up, right? So that might be a nice one to put on. We've got several views of it. I like this, that kind of shows what our area is like. Um, or here's downtown, right? So if you click on something and hit select, um, that's gonna pop up so that when people scroll over the Pleasanton marker here on our map, it's there, the picture shows up, I'm gonna save it. You can also type some facts here. So this is where you can type some things, um, where you would type your couple of facts. I'm gonna say, um, or elementary is located in Pleasanton. Um, and there would be a fact there. There you go, and it shows up. So let me just close this. Let's try zooming out. Come on. Back out to our map of California, a little bit further. There we go. And so what will happen as we build this map is that you'll see all these little markers, right? Now we're really zoomed out. And as we close in on them, we zoom in, and you click on them, then people will be able to read about that spot and the interesting things about it, see pictures of it as well. So that's what you guys are going to be doing, doing a little bit of research. Besides um, the interactive map, there are a couple of just sort of interesting fact sites about California that you might enjoy looking at. You can also just look up through Google, um, try researching a little bit, it'll give you some general facts about your particular location. So you're not limited to this. Um, to do this. In fact, let's just demo that really quickly. So if I go to Google and I hit facts on Pleasanton, California. Let's just see what comes up. Fun facts about Pleasanton, California. We've got there, we've got a Wikipedia article on Pleasanton, California city information, 14 things you didn't know about Pleasanton. Um, so, you know, you can, let's just see here. Uh, it's a suburb of San Francisco, 25 miles east of Oakland, 6 miles west of Livermore. Uh, 2000 and it had 70,285 people. So that would be terrific information to put in there. And if I were to do that, you would see I just click back in, I'd add a little bit to my notes and hit save. And that's really all there is to it. Enjoy doing your research. I look forward to seeing this map when it's all built with everybody's fascinating information. All right.